must remember, my dears, Santa's only got just that much room in his pack, and there's so many of you. Don't worry, Miss Parfrey. Mr. Claus will take care of us, just like he always does. <laughs> Absolutely right, Tony. All right, now run along, children, and finish decorating the front uh, yard. Go on, off with you. All of you, out, out. I've already got your request, Tony. You wanted a puppy dog. I know. I waited till the little kids were gone. <laughs> Miss Parfait? Mm hmm You remember when I told you not to worry about Mr. Claus? That he'll come this year like he always does? I remember, Donnie. Well, Miss Parfait, would you mind telling me? I'm worried. Oh, Tony, no. I mean, all those war noises out there in the ocean. Suppose Mr. Claus gets scared away. Not a chance, Donnie. Not a chance. Santa Claus is a very brave man. He'll be here on Christmas Day, I guarantee it. <sighs> My dear Commander McHale, I know how busy you are. Luana would like a doll like Dorothy L'Amour. Who wouldn't? Shot to settle for a McHale doll with grass diapers. Sure. And Sam Samalow, a sled. Ooh, you sled. Well, we had to fake that, Skip. How about this, though? Flexible flyer surfboard. <laughs> huh? That's nice work, Chuck. Nice work. Now, for Tani, a puppy dog. Oh, boy, a puppy dog. Anybody been able to come up with something like that? One puppy dog coming up. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so he's not pedigree, but he sure is smart. I already got him where he can roll over. Now, how about that? But, but you know something? It, it's murder getting him to bark, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not like that, Lassie. Now, come on, now, deeper. Whoa, whoa. Come on, come on. <laughs> whoa, that's yeah. Good boy. Well, who knows? Maybe we straighten out his tail? <laughs> now, let's see. I know some of these requests will be hard to fill, McHale, but if anyone can do the impossible, you can. You're one of the world's most impossible Santa Clauses. <laughs> but I'm desperately counting on you to come through again with your usual miracles. God love and bless you, that stubborn old dame, Miss Pamela Parfrey. That's a real doll. And dedicated. Dedicated. Quite a dame. A uh, doll. A uh, lady. Yeah, that she is. That she is. Oh, now, Chuck. Now, look. Here's Buena Loa. Right. Now, the airdrop for Santa Claus is at 1,100 hours. So give me and Jack Frost here <laughs> a half hour to hit the kids with the small stuff. Then you come in with your brownies and hit Christmas Beach with the big stuff, including the turkey dinners. Gotcha, Skip. Now, I got the flyboy all set up. We're gonna do it the traditional way this year. Santa Claus is gonna drop in from the sky. The kids will love it. Hey, oh, sure. Up dancer, up prancer, down tinker. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful, Christy. Beautiful. Great, yeah, huh? Oh, and Skip, I'm awful sorry about dancer, prancer, donner, and blitzing, but one head of reindeer is all I could round up. Yeah, well, that's good enough, buddy. Good uh, enough. I'm not I think it's in this kitchen anymore. What's the matter, Fooge? What's the matter? Skip us out. Where do you get these cheap, no good light bulbs? <laughs> No wonder. Made in USA. This is Christmas, remember? Goodwill. Yeah, well, I just hope Binghamton remembers that when he finds out about this. I still think we should have got his permission. Ah. Ahoy there! It's your friendly Yuletide caterer! Hot turkeys for everyone! 
compliments of Captain Bingleton. Oh, blank. Great work, Groover. Great work. Hey, you guys, give him a hand, and let's get ready to roll. <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, Skip. Yeah. What have I been worrying about? Why didn't you tell me Captain Bingham knew about this? Well, who said he knew? Well, he donated all those turkeys. Yeah, but he doesn't know he donated them. <laughs> when Groove said hot turkeys, he means those turkeys are hot. <laughs> and Admiral Reynolds wired, quote, season's greetings, unquote. <laughs> Request for clemency from Seaman Melvin Spencer, sir. Mm. Well, what the heck, Carpenter? It's Christmas. Take Spencer out of solitary. Put him in a cell with another prisoner. <laughs> for one day. You're very kind, sir. I know. Uh, what is on the menu for the officers' club Christmas dinner tonight? Consomme of Madeleine. Oh, that's fine. A Caesar salad. Ah, yummy. For the main course, breast of chip beef with cranberry sauce. Good. Uh, for dessert, baked Alaska with what I know you're going to enjoy. Rest of what? <laughs> chip beef, sir. What is all this about, Lieutenant? What has happened to my turkeys? What, 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 what? Well, the turkeys seem to have disappeared, sir, but the cook has come up with a brand new recipe for chip beef. He's dipping it in cranberry, sir. I don't care what he's dipping it in. I don't <laughs> want chip beef. I want turkey, turkey, turkey. <laughs> Say that those turkeys are returned to me at once, Lieutenant. Uneaten. Well, sir, I don't know how I'm going to what do that do you because. you mean disappeared? You mean stolen? Isn't that what you mean, Lieutenant? Stolen? Let me ask you one question. What manner of man could be so rotten, so devious, so conniving, and don't answer me? I know the answer, Mikhail. <laughs> Get me my boat. Yes, sir. Oh, hello, Mr. Schuyler, and a Merry Christmas to the United Press. Uh, won't you sit down and make yourself comfortable right over there? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, and I'll uh, fill you in with some heartwarming little stories about my early war years. <laughs> First, I have to track down the pillaging, conniving, unprincipled scoundrel. What's Mikhail done now? <laughs> Colorful and nonconformist friend has filched the turkeys right out of my loyal officer's mouths, and to be in character, he's done it on Christmas Day. What a story. Let's go. Yes, come on with me. All right, you brownies. Ten. <laughs> All present and counter for Santa Claus. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas, you bunch of swabs. <laughs> ah, you look fine. Every one of you. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, Skip, don't you think you're kind of overdoing it? Isn't that a pillow too many? What do you mean, pillow? That's all me, boy. <laughs> you better watch the way you talk, or I'll demote you down to Brownie second class. <laughs> Well, Mr. Frost, shall we be winging? Okay, let's twinkle. <laughs> See all you gremlins and put a law. Oh, and the blazers was in that plane. I don't know, sir, but it must have been some admiral. One of them had a beard. <laughs> Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hayes, where have you been? Down at the ice house. I figured, what's Christmas without snow? Hey, that's a great idea. Will you look at that, Mr. Parker? Snowball! Now, that's ah. ridiculous. No. Now, man, I gave an order, and I'm the brownie in charge. Or the officer in charge. And you come back with it. Hey, that is snowball. Kind of reminds me of Christmas back home. Hey, let's see how good your is, Mr. Parker. Yeah. Well. Now, I'll tell you, Mr. Skyler, the day that I can laugh and forget about this, it'll be a cold day in July. <laughs> a snowball in the South Pacific? It's a snowball, all right. Wow, what a story. <laughs> oh, well, that explains it. See, there's a sleigh up there. <laughs> what in creation is that? Oh, it's Binghamton! Hey, what are we going to do? do? Now, don't lose your head. Just act like nothing unusual is going on. Hey, 
Ten. Huh? Funny thing happened to me. I was just hit by a snowball. That is funny, sir. But things will get worse, Parker. Oh, uh, you are Parker, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, let me guess. <clears throat> Leprechauns? No, sir. Oh. Uh, the Seven Dwarfs. No, sir. But you're getting warm. I give up. We're brownies, sir. Oh, brownies. Yes, sir. We're Santa's helpers. Cut <laughs> it out. I've had about all of this nonsense, and I'm going to stand. Where's my good friend, Brownie McHale? I'm begging the captain's pardon, sir, but Commander McHale's not a brownie. He's not. Oh, no, sir. He's Santa Claus. Santa Claus. You men must be bucking for a gang, Section 8. I've never admit... You smell something, Mr. Schuyler? Yes, a story. No, oh, I mean turkeys. I mean roast turkeys. I mean roast turkeys stolen from my mess. Uh, well, sir, uh, we were going to leave a thank you note, sir. Stop it! Now, there must be an explanation for this whole thing, but I prefer to wait and read the results of the court martial. Should we hear their side of it first? Go ahead, Parker. Uh, oh, uh, well, sir, it's a very simple thing. You see, there's this mission on Buena Loa, and, well, Santa Claus, uh... <clears throat> Commander McHale. He flies over in a plane and drops gifts to the orphans there. And then we come along in the boat as brownies and pass out hot turkey. <laughs> You're hot turkey. Well, the human angle. Just the kind of story I'm looking for. You mean a PT boat crew in the South Pacific, led by that sentimental base commander, Wallace Burton Binghamton. How is the spirit of Christmas to a gallant little group of waifs stranded, stranded in the South Pacific? Would make Life magazine, or maybe even the Reader's Digest, the most unforgettable commanding officer I ever met. <laughs> well, well, sir, uh, shall we all get on board? That's, uh, that's a Binghamton. There's no P in that. The accent is on the Bing. Now, what are we waiting for, Brownies? We've got a date with Christmas. Now, hey! get a shot of me getting on board, would you? But, sir, what about the officers' club dinner? Let them eat chip beef. <laughs> Santa Claus? Well, he's not due for another hour yet. I saw him, Miss Parfrey, landing on the North Beach. But he's dressed different this year. He's wearing a brown suit. Well, there's a war on, dear. A brown suit? Oh, one of Santa's brownies. With glasses. Glasses? Yes, and he's carrying a big sword. And a flag with a red ball on it. Oh, no. It's, 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 it's the Japanese. T Tani, run and get the children. Get them down to the motor launch. And hurry, dear, hurry. Happy landings. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> Geronimo! <laughs> Hiding every place for where I need it. Oh. Hey, Tink. Give me a hand here, will you? Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, I don't see them around. I don't see any kids. They must be hiding. I hear rustling in the bushes. Yeah? Yeah, they're little rascals. That's what they're doing. <laughs> Come on. This will smoke them out. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Come on out, you little darlings. Santa Claus is here. Come on out. Oh, 
Merry Christmas! <laughs> I hope the kids got away. I think they did. I didn't see Miss Puffy's boot. It was gone. You know, being out of uniform, you could shoot us as spies. And our guys are walking right into a trap. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Who's happy? You're being tickles. <laughs> hey, Tink, that might work. What might work? You just keep laughing. I got an idea. I think we can bluff our way out of this. <laughs> you're upset. <laughs> yes, me. Oh, well, uh, Merry Christmas. And now, if I may have your name, rank, and serial number? Certainly. Yukio Shimura, Major Imperial Japanese. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. That's what I'm supposed to ask you. <laughs> My prisoner. We're your prisoners? <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit confused, Major. <laughs> What's going on here? Who are you, anyway? The name is Santa Claus and Jack Frost. Santa <laughs> Claus? Jack Floss. What is this all about? What, 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 what? There's one in every outfit. <laughs> well, let me explain, Major. Um, um, Shimura. 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 Well, now, we come to you as conquerors, but this being Christmas, we come bearing gifts. <laughs> What's this? Oh, what's this? Yeah, what do you want to eat? This. Turn up! That's it. What's that, Kelly? Now, Seymour, where's your sense of humor? Today's a day of goodwill. Now, after these gifts have been distributed to your men, we'll sit down like good officers should, and arrange the terms for your surrender. I don't want to hear no more about Santa Claus or surrender. We have whole company of men here. We know that too, Major. Oh, yes. Our naval intelligence had us all briefed on this thing for, for many, many weeks. You walked right into our trap. Trap? <laughs> Between you and me, Santa, I don't think they're going for it. What's going to happen when the brownies get here? That's got to be the clincher. Now, maybe you'll believe me when the turkey dinners arrive. <clears throat> turkey dinner! Look, today is Christmas, and we feed turkey to all the boys in the prisoner of war camps. Could we do any less for you poor boys? Turkey <laughs> dinner? Now I tell you what we serve in our PW camp. Jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> uh, What's going on here? What, what, what? You trying to pull some psychological warfare? I told you, Major, those are your turkey dinners. My brownies are right on time. Now, if you just throw your arms down. You tell your brownies to throw their arms up. No tricks. Go, straight to game. You stay. Santa. <laughs> Hey, look, there's the skip. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. Oh, hello, Scarlet. What are you doing there? And then, and then, Captain Binghamton? What the fuck? All the glory for yourself, didn't you, Mikhail? Now, where are those underprivileged little tykes? I have a speech for them. Wipe that frown off your face, Captain, and smile. Smile! Mikhail, don't you order me to smile. I'm your superior officer, and I'll look unhappy if I want to. <laughs> There's a mess of Japanese Nambu rifles pointed straight at you. Just waiting for you to say cheese. Cheese! Cheese! Oh! we sailed into an ambush, kid? I'm afraid so, Chuck. But come on and bring those turkeys. Play it cool. I got a kind of a con job going on. Smile. All right. Fine, man. Let's move out. Play it cool. Play it cool. Play it cool. I handy that. I eat. 
easy, Captain. Yeah, easy. Put your arms in place. Uh, and fly out of there, Captain. I'll get you for this, Mikhail. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I told you, Major Seymour, my brownies would arrive, huh? All right, now, men, I've explained to our prisoners of war that uh, as soon as we've had their turkey dinners, we're going to transport them back to the prisoner of war camp. So let's have a little more singing, shall we, fellas? Our prisoners, skip. They've got the guns and the bayonets. Sing, sing. <laughs> Hold on. Jingle bells. Can you see? <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Cut that out! Hey, he sounds just like, uh... Well, Seymour, what do you say? Yakabashi! You would never not have stood by the Not so much! Well, if that's your attitude, I'm gonna take the turkeys right back to the horse's mess. Stop! I can't tell you! Okay, okay. Don't eat them now! Go on the <laughs> All right, men, back to the boat with the turkeys. Let's, let's move it. I'm a double man. Uh, we're all, uh... Uh, as you were, man. You are like going no place. Who are you trying to kid? You say you come to capture us. Where is your support? No ship, no praying, no nothing! Oh, you not the Yankee? Going to stockade! Merry Christmas, Mikhail. <laughs> Such crass impertinence. Starting a flap on Christmas Day? No sense of ethics at all. <laughs> your picking us up was the best Christmas present we could have had. Oh, dear. I just hope you don't have to destroy our mission. Oh, never fear, my dear. We'll just fire a few shots over their heads and drive the blighters back into the sea. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, come on, Seymour. Now, this being Christmas, I'm going to give you one more chance. Oh, no. I sure listening to you, Yankee. All this talk about Christmas is also nonsense. I not breathe one word. Now, get going. Merry Christmas, one and all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. There is a Santa Claus. Come on, you little brownies. Don't just stand there. Grab their guns. Yes. Thank you, Major. Thank you very much. Come on, fellas. Make a ball out of it. Snowball. Snowball. <laughs> Amanda. Huh? We um we don't have any mistletoe. But I'd like to thank you anyway. Oh well, uh, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, and, 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 and this is for you. For me? Yes, sir. Oh. And and all of this would not have been possible without our great captain, uh, Wallace B. Binghamton. <laughs> what a story. How do you spell Binghamton again? <laughs> I know, no, Mr. Schuyler. I want Mikhail to get credit for the whole thing. The turkeys, the plane, the Navy fuel expended, the government equipment used, the whole thing. Oh, well, that's very generous of you, sir. Uh, it shows you a good holiday spirit, doesn't it? Yes, I want you to have a happy Christmas, Mikhail. I want you to live it up until one minute after midnight, then you're going to pay through the nose. <laughs> Kid throw that snowball, man! What an arm! <laughs> I, I just taught him how to throw. I didn't teach him to aim or anything. Just. All right, kiddies, let's all sing. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride one horse open sleigh! Hey, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. 